Yo, ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about the idol, right? We have to. For those that don't know, we're reacting to the idol completely on the second channel where I do TV and movie reactions. Check that out. It's linked in the description. We've done every single episode so far. So if you want to see my first reaction, genuine first reaction to the series, feel free to go and look at that. We're obviously three episodes in, but that's neither here nor there. I'm making this video because like I'm going through the comments on on the weekends, on his Instagram, on his Twitter and, you know, everybody hating it. I, I just don't understand how I don't understand how people don't see the they don't see that this is a like over exaggeration in order for you to understand potentially what the symbolic meaning of the show is when it comes to how Hollywood and specifically the music industry just completely tortures the mentality and uses and disposes of people as quickly and as relentlessly and as as unapologetic and unforgiving as it does, especially especially female artists. Like here are some comments that I see on here. Why are we making manipulation, abuse, and sexualizing women normal? Seems a thousand steps back to me, zero out of 10. And then this one, everyone loves your music, but this show is so nasty. No one can defend you more able because this is vile. Your character makes me feel physically sick. This series is nothing but insulting women and showing them as sex dolls. It's like comments like that, bro. Like, yes, it's evil and yes, it's vile and yes, it's dark and cult like and there's abuse and sexualization. That is the entire point of the show. The entire point of the show is that Abel's character, Tedros Tedros, terrible fucking name, by the way, that should automatically be criticized in the screenplay. Tedros Tedros. Huh? That's like if I that's like if I named the channel. Fuck, what do I call this channel? Uh, I let Ernest Ernest. You know what I mean? Dumb. But either way, Tedros is literally a physical representation, anthropomorphization of the music industry and how vile IRL the music industry is. Y'all guys are so worked up. People are so worked up about how dark and how sinister the show is. That's how it actually is in real life. You just don't see it. You really thought a show about the underbelly of Hollywood and specifically the toxicity in the music industry, especially toward female artists. You really thought that that show co-produced and co-creator The Weeknd, whose entire music catalog before this new trilogy has been dark and toxic in using and disposing of women and female figures. You thought that that guy, you thought that that character in The Weeknd is going to write or co-produce a song, a show that is not like that. You thought that he didn't have that in him. I feel like people are just so worked up for the wrong reasons. When this, I'm not, I'm not saying there's not legitimate things to criticize here. I'll go over some of my deepest criticisms of the show. One, the weekend cannot act. And even if he could act, I think it was a terrible misstep to use him the weekend as the as the main character the weekend is too big of a brand he's too big of a brand irl and people are just going to see him as the weekend and they can't fully immerse themselves into the show because it's not it's not tedros it's the weekend acting as tedros who doesn't know how to act so let's see if he can actually pull this off that is why people are not getting lost in the show in the way that they should that's number one Number two, the screenplay, the, the writing of the show at times is terrible. Episode number two, a 13 minute sex episode, sex scene with no actual sex because while it's HBO, it's still not porn. How do we pull off a 13 minute sequence of that? And then on top of that, sex talk doesn't work on screen like that. There are some things that do not translate well into when, when it's being done in front of a camera. Yeah, IRL, it sounds all right. But the moment that you put it in front of a camera and now we're watching in a fly on the wall of this scene happening, it's not sexy. It's not, it's just not good. And then when you top that off with the not great acting from the weekend, it just makes the entire scene unwatchable. Third, bringing in Sam Levinson completely changed the changed the feel. I know it's a very dark show, and, and I know that they got rid of the main director because it was leaning too much in the in the direction of what the woman is thinking and and from her perspective the main character of the show is a woman maybe we should have had her perspective more so so when i see scenes of the idol and i see scenes like her breakdown lily depp rose's breakdown in the entire scene that was during the music videos like that she crushed that scene and i felt every sense of i felt every sense of urgency and frustration from her team but i also felt every sense of depression and anxiety and panic from her and then we get the scene where they're all at the dinner table at the weekend's house like that is solid acting as well that's probably the weekend's best performance in the show so far is that scene and those scenes deal directly with the emotions of lily depp rose so anytime that i'm watching those scenes i'm like could this scene or could this show have been better 
if we still kept the female perspective of the first director. And then fourth, we bring Jenny on for, for some fucking reason, and it just seems very shady, and it seems very manipulative of them to bring her on. It's almost like they brought her on just because they knew that her name being in the cast was going to was going to rile up the Blackpink stands and, and the Blinks and K-pop and beat and just K-pop stands in general. Here comes Jenny, one of the lead idols in Blackpink, who is the biggest female group in K-pop. Here we have her on the cast listing and she has a little bit of she has a little bit of screen time here and there, but that's it. Like that seems kind of shady. I am critical of that because it's like we just did it so we can get views. It's, her her character is not actually that important. So all of those criticism to me are 100% valid, but criticizing the show because of its dark energy because of its cult-like energy because of its toxic energy because of its disposing of women because of its sexualization of women because of its making two women compete against each other in the sense of jenny and and lily depp rose her character like i feel like those criticisms are completely invalid that's the entire point of the show like the people that are criticizing it for that did you really think that the music industry is a safe place the music industry is the hr department of hollywood and of the entertainment world you think your hr department there is to protect you at your job no 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 your hr department is there to protect the company from you and that's what i feel like when it comes to the music industry you thought that the record labels you thought that executives and a and r's were there to to boost up the artists yeah they're there for that but at the same time they're taking 360 deals they're taking cuts of merch they're taking they, they have literal slave style contracts because while they are there to help the artists see fame they're only there to help the artists get to fame because that's going to make them money the industry is not a safe space the industry is not a place to go if you don't want to be stressed if you don't want to feel anxious if you don't want to feel pressure because that's all it is and that's what the show to me is actually doing a really good job while well, through the bad acting sometimes through the scripting through the corniness through the cheesiness sometimes through, through just the comedy of some of the scenes a fucking curb stop you a fucking curb stop you. don't you dare look at her <laughs> like through that dumb shit like that it's doing a pretty good job and it's doing a fairly accurate job to me of completely symbolizing everything is that is the darkness of the music industry. I just don't get the criticism, at least in that aspect. Do y'all feel the same? I gotta know because I'm like, am I the only one that thinks like this? Am I?